<laughs> the weeds are literally taller than the truck. We got four flat tires. Danger Ranger 9000 coming up and it is time to get shit done. I have been debating whether to resurrect my Ranger from last year's race or to buy a new one. And let me just show y'all, it's been sitting up behind the Freedom Factory and I almost had a heart attack pulling up. We got a lot of work to do if we're gonna save this truck, but I think it's the right thing to do. I've got a little bit of an attachment to it and let's see it. <laughs> the weeds are literally taller than the truck. We got four flat tires. The hood's been sitting off of it for a year. And we got ants in here. We got mud daubers flying around. She is not in good shape. I mean, look how rusty the roll cage is. Oh man, not to do, a lot to do. But the first step is gonna be pulling this thing out of the weeds so we see what we can work with and see if we need to swap this motor, if we can fix this one or what the whole deal is. say to me george do the what to it head ported. oh nothing nothing hey this is puppy is bone stock other than the sick paint job but hey we got some work to do first of all we got to figure out what happened during the last danger ranger 9000 last year jh and i had an accident that put us into the wall and each other And basically it blew a hole in my radiator. So I basically ran the truck until it overheated and quit on itself. So I need to pull this thing apart. I gotta get it started, get it running, see if we need to replace the motor. She's a keeper. It's actually a Ford Ranger Splash Edition. So it's got the paint job, it's got the fiberglass step bed and the bigger motor and a manual transmission. She's a gem and I love to keep it because I don't know, I just kind of have an emotional attachment to this truck because I had our grandfather riding shotgun. He passed away and he used to race with this number. So shout out to Bob. We got to get this thing going for you again because, uh, hey, these Ranger races are so fun. But we definitely have some tweaking to do to the front end of this because we snatched it with my truck to bring it back forward to keep the fan off the radiator. As you can see, the fan is completely broken into pieces, but that's not a problem because there's a couple other things I'll go over with this truck as we start tearing it apart. But we just need to get it figured out, find out what's wrong with it, get it running again so that we can compete with this exact same truck because I love this thing. It's so sweet. at the house and we are gonna dive in. The race is in about two months and I gotta figure out whether we can save this motor or we have to put a new one in because during the race, I killed it. I ran it overheated until it wouldn't go anymore. Coolant spraying everywhere. I mean, it definitely overheated. So we're gonna do a compression test today. We're gonna turn it over, see if we can't get it running, see what's going on with it because I can turn the car over manually, but we gotta see what's going on so we can dive in deeper and figure out what exactly we're gonna do with this thing because I love the body on this thing. I think it's cool. It's a Ranger Splash. It's got the 4.0 liter and a manual transmission. So I'd love to save it instead of having to buy a whole new truck. Well, I'd call it a good sign that the radio's on and the dash is lighting up somewhat. No headlights, obviously, because the whole front end's busted, but let's try and turn her over a little bit. Clutch in neutral nothing okay attempt number two getting her to turn over oh my god it runs 
I was not expecting that. Well, I guess we gotta do a compression test now. We know it turns over. <laughs> this thing's literally been sitting for a year, rotting away at the back of the track. I mean, it has infestated with bugs and rust and I'm mind blown right now. I cannot believe that it just turned over. Check out the carnage on this radiator from the fans smoking this thing when JH and I got in that wreck. I would call this thing done. Just to recap what's happened, I pulled the radiator out of this thing because obviously that thing smoked, but I have this super ghetto starting ignition switch on it and the car turned over and actually fired up for about five seconds. So it's either not getting fuel or it's down on compression or the computer's not happy with it. So we're gonna do a compression and a leak down test right now to kind of see what the health of the engine is. If we need to replace head gaskets or if we need to even pull the heads, but it started. I am absolutely mind blown right now. Some might call this the Amazon find of the century, but these are spark plug sockets that have a swivel on them. Three ace and they come in all different sizes. I got the kit. I'm gonna put a link in the description where you guys can get them. They've been an absolute lifesaver for working on any car. Just the fact that they can swivel and they come in different extensions. I'm super happy with these. If y'all wanna see some crusty looking spark plugs, I think it's time for a new set if we're gonna be running this truck. These are uh, they're pretty corroded. So easy fix, easy upgrade. We'll get some fresh plugs in there for sure before firing this thing back up. Oh yeah, let's check the oil on this. Looking good. I'm not seeing any water in there. Smells like oil, looks like oil, probably is oil. Well, did the AC delete give me more room to do this compression testing? I got the right tools and uh, we're gonna see what each one of these cylinders is doing when we turn it over. See if they match up, if they don't, then we've got a deeper problem, but we at least saw it run a little bit, which is promising and uh, I don't know. I really don't know where it's at right now. I mean, I did run it super hard, super hot until it quit. So we got to figure out why it quit and why it turned off five seconds after it ran when I first started it. Final results, cylinder six is only making 55 PSI on the compression test. And then also cylinder three is at 85. We're definitely down on compression in cylinders, what is it, six and three. But I'm gonna see if it'll start. I'm gonna put fresh plugs in it and just see if it runs. And if it does, then we'll take it out for a little rip because when we're racing against all these other trucks, I mean, we're only going in a three ace oval. If we're down on compression in one cylinder, by a lot, like 50%, I mean, we still have a pretty good fighting chance. And since it, it's only about a month, month and a half away, I still have time to pull the heads and see if it's a head gasket issue. If it is, then we'll do that. But let's try and take it out for a rip and see if it works. All right, let's see if it'll do it. It's 
still rides. It's so funny. I freaking love it. So we definitely have an issue. We need to get a radiator. We need to get probably an electric fan on that radiator. And then I have an issue where I'm having to slam it into gear. And so before the last Danger Ranger, I had the same issue. And so I'm thinking that the slave on the clutch is going bad. So either way, we're gonna have to pull the motor, the trans, whichever one's easier, but we got a race car. <sighs> I'm blown away. I'm so fired up about this, but we do have an issue of getting it out of gear. So I gotta do some research and see what's going on. Um, if you guys like this build, get me fired up. Give me a subscribe, leave me a like, leave me a comment because there's more Danger Ranger content to come and this is my favorite race of the year. Let's go. Fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track. We're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. It's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only 39 bucks. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonicare, except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush out every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.